The Nintendo 3DS eShop is closing this month, it's right around the corner, so before it's too late, here's a few games that you should pick up and download. Alright, so the first game is Fantasy Life. This game came out in North America about 2014, and it's a really awesome game. So it's an adventure RPG, and you explore an entire world, there's different paths you can go on, you can craft, fight, you can fish, and there's so many different like little activities and tasks that you can do. It has a really amazing, charming, admirable art style like look how cool that is that's so unique there's not many games that look like that there's about 12 different paths that you can take it's kind of like a career game like you have different jobs and everything there's a ton of tasks a ton of side missions that give you like xp and bonus stuff to help you out in the long run give you some stuff to unlock and everything and it's a pretty lengthy game too so the main storyline and everything will take about 31 ish hours to complete i guess depending on how fast you are with games and if you want to 100 percent complete this game it's about 157 hours so there's definitely a lot to do in this game and you could definitely spend a lot of time exploring the entire world on this game i feel like this is definitely a hidden gem on the 3ds so the second game is Pushmo. They also have a few other games called Crashmo and Stretchmo, which are pretty similar, but they're all unique in their own ways. So this game is really fun. It's really addicting. It's a puzzle game where you push and pull out different blocks and shapes, and you get to the top to clear the levels so you can move on. And there's about 250 puzzles, so it's definitely a lengthy game. It's definitely a really chill and calming game. It's pretty quick to pick up on the controls and everything. And this one is a 3DS eShop exclusive, meaning you can't actually buy a physical copy of this game. So once the eShop closes, that's pretty much it for the Pushmo and Crashmo series, which is kind of unfortunate, kind of sad. Maybe they'll port them over to the Switch one day. That would be really sweet. I believe this game starts off with a free demo and then you have to pay a few dollars to get the full game which is kind of unfortunate but it's definitely a must have for the 3DS and it's definitely a game that you can play for a long time and still have fun with it. Next up we got Monster Hunter Stories. So this is an RPG style game that was developed by Capcom and Marvelous and it's pretty much like a spin-off type of game of the regular Monster Hunter series. So it has a different art style, you know, a different combat style, a different focus, but that's pretty admirable. I think the art style is really unique, and I definitely think there's a lot to do in this game. There's a ton of different tasks and side missions and everything. You can collect eggs, hatch different monsters, and uh, build a really strong team. You can fight against other players, other teams, whatever. There's boss fights in this game. This is actually the first ever turn-based battle style in the Monster Hunter series, which is pretty neat. So it's pretty cool how they took a different approach to this game compared to the other Monster Hunter games. I think the art style is probably one of the most unique things about this game. I think it's really cool and there's so many different things that you could do. One more thing to mention about all these games I'm talking about, most of them are physical releases, so you could buy the physical copy of the game. So after the 3DS shop closes, you can still buy these games and play them, but the thing is, the games are going to skyrocket in value. A lot of them are actually worth a lot of money, and you could save money by downloading them digitally. So I just thought that'd be something to mention in case you guys watch this video after the 3DS shop closes. Animal Crossing New Leaf. So Animal Crossing is definitely one of my personal favorite games that Nintendo makes. Most of you probably know Animal Crossing New Horizon on the Switch. That's a really great game. That's probably my favorite game on the Switch. Anyway, so Animal Crossing is just straight up a classic Nintendo series. All of them are just so peaceful and calming, and it's a game that really gets you involved with a town or the island that you're on, really gets you involved with all the villagers there. Each villager and every character in the game all have their own unique personality. They always have their own like style for the houses, different quotes or things that they like to say, and different preferences. It's really cool and it's a really in-depth game. They really have thought of a lot. Like there's a ton you can do in this game. People can spend thousands of hours on this game and still want to play more. You can catch different bugs, fish, you can dig up fossils, you can explore different islands and areas and meet other characters in the game. You pretty much start off with nothing and then you build up everything as you go on. You earn money, you sell things and everything. You can buy and collect different like items to decorate your island or your village and everything and it's it's just such an in-depth game that i really think that everybody can enjoy if they try it this was a game series that really i was kind of skeptical about before i tried it and gave it a chance and i played it and i think they are just some great games every single animal crossing game just has their own unique style and i think it's definitely a game that everybody should try at least once in their life 
Lastly on this list, we got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. So this is pretty much Donkey Kong Country Returns from the Wii, but the controls are a lot better. Uh, Nintendo apparently rebuilt this game from the ground up to release it on the 3DS. I definitely think this is a perfect game to get on the 3DS. Digitally downloaded. You can play this game anytime if it's digitally downloaded, so it's a, it's pretty sick. I feel like this game is really great. I feel like it's almost a must-have for a 3DS in a way. You know, you're on an island, you get the tropical vibes going on. Donkey Kong is a classic Nintendo game, and I feel like this is probably one of the best Donkey Kong games. I mean, I don't know if people would agree with that, but I just feel like the controls are just really responsive. Everything looks good. It's a creative game. It's fun. It's exciting. You can play it for a while and not get bored. The graphics and everything, scenery looks really cool. And you know, it's a first party game, so it's gonna be a good game. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys like any of these games, let me know. If you guys have any other suggestions for a future video, let me know as well. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about your favorite 3DS games. All right, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.